It is your time. It is your move. Go take it. New head coach David Beattie will try to make Kansas into the next Texas A&M offensively, but does he have the pieces? Here's the deal with the 2015 Kansas Jayhawks. They don't really have anything. Here's the problem. It doesn't help that top quarterback option Michael Cummings suffered a knee injury in the spring game. It certainly doesn't help that their best player, Corey Avery, at running back, receiver Rodriguez Coleman, and linebacker Jake Love were all dismissed from the team. The secondary needs a lot of work. The front seven loses heart and soul linebacker Ben Heaney. And overall, it's going to take a long while for BD to come up with a decided schematic advantage. And he just doesn't have the players. But offensively, as bad as the numbers have been, the defense has been every bit as awful, allowing 324 yards per game over last year. Over the last 50 games, the Jayhawks have given up 30 points or more 32 times. And the record in those games, 1 and 31. There's just a wee bit of work to do on both sides of the ball. Now, Beattie was a great hire, it's, but it's going to take an upset or three to escape the Big 12 basement. The program is in total overhaul mode. It's going to need at least a year or two to get the pieces back in place and to be interesting again. So South Dakota State's probably a win, but after that, the Jayhawks are probably going to be underdogs the rest of the way. The season will be a success if they can win four games, one more than last season, but that's not going to be easy. I'm Pete Futek, the dive deeper in the 2015 Kansas Jayhawks. Check out the full written previews on Campus Insiders.